here because you were told you had scoliosis. Mm -hmm. Just got told that when I went for an appointment, like a regular regular checkup. Check yeah. Okay. Um, and that was one of my like pediatricians several years ago. Okay. Yeah. So it wasn't anything bothering you. Not at the time. No. Not at the time. Is mm -hmm. it bothering you now? Occasionally it does. What bothers you? Um, the area is usually my upper left shoulder, like right by my shoulder blade. Um, and my lower back-ish, um, and that's usually after I go, uh, after I exercise. Okay, so what yeah. kind of exercises are we doing? Um, lately it's been a lot of running, because that's basically all I can do okay. right now. Um, otherwise it's like weightlifting, yeah. And that's why you're here? That's one of the reasons I'm here. What else are you doing? Um, also my feet are like kind of pronated. Both of them? Both of them, okay. and my left more than my right. Okay. Um, and so I think they get pretty tired pretty fast. What does that mean? Um, like if I'm standing for a long time. An hour, half hour, 20 minutes, two hours? Like half an hour. Okay. I'm tired. So um, half an hour you're standing, you're feeling tired, weak, or pain? Um, they just feel tired feet my feet yeah not the calves not the thighs not the glutes no i used to have arches and then one day i noticed like oh my feet are like flatter than they used to be hold on you noticed you had arches when you were walking standing or you noticed you had arches when you were crossing your legs um i think crossing my legs actually okay. yeah yes yeah. Because there is a concept of functional flat footers mm -hmm. versus true flat footers or functional pronators mm -hmm. versus true pronators. Right. A functional mm -hmm. pronator is someone who um, non-weight bearing will have the arch, okay. but as soon as they stand and put mm -hmm. weight on it, it goes flat. flat. Okay. Those are actually correctable. Okay. Someone who's got a structural issue mm -hmm. in the bone or something mm -hmm. or a collapsed arch or mm -hmm collapsed ligament, mm -hmm. it's flat, both weight-bearing and non-weight-bearing. Mm -hmm. That's not something I think I'm gonna be okay. fixing with an adjustment, mm -hmm. so to speak, okay? And or training. Uh, is it something that needs fixing? Like, What's that, time? pronation? Yeah, pronation and flat feet. Well, it goes back to mechanics, right? Mm -hmm. You're, it, are we designed to be pronators? No. Are we designed to, like, what are we designed to do? How are we designed to walk? It's like going, you know, saying you have a car and something in the car is out of alignment mm -hmm. and the tires are both wearing unevenly on the mm -hmm. inside, right? Mm -hmm. Because of the alignment. Okay. But I'm just going to keep changing my tire. Mm -hmm. What's eventually going to happen? Mm -hmm. Eventually, the alignment, if it's wearing down the tires, eventually, what's it going to do? If all we're doing is changing tires, mm -hmm. it goes from the alignment mm -hmm. of the wheel to the what? The tie rod, mm -hmm. the bushings, mm -hmm. the axle. Mm -hmm. Eventually, it gets to the transmission, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Same thing. If we follow kinetic chain, it goes up. Right. It can go into the knees. Mm -hmm. It can go into the hip or vice versa. Mm -hmm. The question is, which started first? Mm -hmm. Was it the pronation? Was it the back? I'm pretty sure it was the back. Yeah. And we'll go over that okay. okay so number one is the curvature mm -hmm. you were told scoliosis mm -hmm. i don't see it as a scoliosis but we'll talk about it mm -hmm. so we have curvature number one number two we have pro bilateral pronation mm -hmm. issues mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. okay what else i kind of have knocked knees as well and they don't hurt um but i just wanted to know if that was something that i need to ever be precautious of or, and a lot of what I'm asking is like how what treatment can I do at home or what things can I do to prevent any further injury in general okay yeah okay so I, I get it so you're here you want to figure out what's off what can be fixed or what needs to be fixed mm -hmm. and then figure out kind of what's the reality of mm -hmm. of the mechanics of your body mm -hmm. does that yeah. make sense yeah and okay. like what can I do on my own okay yeah. Well, first thing is we have to determine what's, what needs to happen. Mm -hmm. And what I normally suggest with everyone that I see here is lots of walking. Mm -hmm. And that's the one thing most of us are not doing, right? Mm -hmm. we wanna, I hear gym a lot. Mm -hmm. I hear gym, I hear yoga, I hear Pilates, I hear all these mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I tell somebody, go for a walk for half an hour, what are you talking about? I don't mm -hmm. have time. Uh -huh. 
it's, so, it's good. I got a dog with me. So perfect. <laughs> lots of walks. So I normally suggest that with everybody in the beginning mm -hmm. for the first few weeks um, of getting adjusted. Mm -hmm. What do I mean by that? Mm -hmm. Walk an hour, 10, 15,000 steps a day. You got mm -hmm. the dog, walk. Mm -hmm. You want some resistance, go for a hike. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, go yeah. for a hike, get that, that incline if you want. Okay. Um, I would say no weights right now, okay. okay, at least for a few weeks okay. to see how your body responds to the mm -hmm. adjustment mm -hmm. and to see and to show you just what the walking and alignment will do for mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. okay? Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. The number one thing you can be doing is cross-country skiing, which means elliptical with the handles once the mm -hmm. gym opens, mm -hmm. or walking. Mm -hmm. uh, walking, swinging the arms, mm -hmm. okay, fast walking, mm -hmm. swimming, uh, cycling, bicycling, okay. uh, jogging and running. The only way running would be indicated is a nine minute mile or faster. Mm -hmm. If you're jogging, jogging is not indicated in your case at the moment. Mm -hmm. And if you're doing a nine minute mile or faster, great. What else? I think my jaw, my face is kind of asymmetrical. I've never really had any functional issues with it, but um, my mom wanted me to ask you about it. Okay, where's so mom? Mom is in the Bay Area. Okay. Yeah, and then I do have like a little bit of anxiety. Um, but other than that, I think I'm chiller. Anxiety. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> has anxiety. Yeah. But there's a way, an easy way to fix that. There is one physiological difference mm. between anxiety and excitement. One thing, mm. the breath. Mm. Oh. That's it. Mm. Everything else is the same. Mm -hmm. So if someone who's anxious, mm -hmm. and we get a lot of people here, mm -hmm. you gotta breathe. Yeah. They're not breathing. Yeah. So I would say breathing exercises mm -hmm. during this time. Mm -hmm. Hatha yoga, hatha yoga is more breath work. Mm -hmm. um, instead of the gym and all that right now, mm -hmm. I would be doing the walks and breathing exercises. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have you uh, walk, let's look at your gait, okay. let's see what's going on, and then we'll go over your x-rays and start the exam. If we're looking at the dimples, we can see the left dimple is slightly higher than the right dimple. We can see, I'm gonna hold you here, okay? Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Yeah. You can see the swelling in the sacrum. Okay. So dimple, one side is higher, one side is lower. We have a little bit of swelling in the sacrum. As we go up the spine, this side is good as we're going up. Something did happen here, I'm gonna show you, that caused a kink here in the spine, okay? And what we, this isn't the answer. The answer of this is somewhere down here, okay? So that's what we need to figure out. You're complaining of your shoulder asymmetries, right? Mm -hmm. So left is left is higher, right is lower. Mm -hmm. Now, more a little more pronounced on the left side. Are you righty or lefty? I'm a righty. You're a righty. Okay. So I want you to see this. I'm just covering here. This curve, you can see this curve is higher, this curve is lower. Okay? And all of this goes back to her foundation. What I'll have you do now is march in place just a couple of times, please. Knees in front of you. And you can see the pronation in her feet. Definitely on the right, right more than the left, right off the bat. You can see rotation, stop please. Look at her tibias now. Look at the creases. The creases look different. You can see a little more swelling on this side than this side. Yeah. So there's a little more swelling on her right side than there is on her left side. Okay, go ahead now. I want you to walk back and forth several times, please. Regular walking. There you go. Turn around, please. Good. And you're going to go back and forth several times. Okay. okay? And what we're looking at, we're looking, let's focus a little bit on her feet. Let's watch how her feet move, slow down just a little bit. So yes, I agree with you in terms of the pronation issues. Do you remember at any point where you were standing, walking, where you didn't have the flat feet or the pronation? Um, I don't remember, honestly. You don't, okay. Yeah. 
All right, what I want you to do is stop right there, march in place. You can let go of it. Now, I'm going to stand beside you, knees up a little bit, knees up a little higher. Okay. My hand is right behind you here. Eyes closed? Eyes okay. open first. Close your eyes. And she's off. <laughs> cool. Stop. Okay, keep walking, please. <sighs> keep walking. Now stop there, march in place again. Just relax your arms on the side. Look straight ahead for me. Yeah. So that dropped or that short, you can see there's a short leg as well because you keep going, leaning to that side. Okay. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Have a seat over here, please. Pronation, again, on the feet. And I said there's a difference between a functional pronator and a structural pronator, mm -hmm. right? So what I'll have you do is stand again, please. And what we can see, guys, here is it's flat in through here. Okay, go ahead and sit, have a seat. Now, cross one leg over the other, doesn't matter which one, let it hang over like that, please. Now, do we see a little bit of an arch now? Right? We see how there's a little bit of an arch there. Mm -hmm. Cross over the other way, please. So, same thing. There is a little bit of an arch on both sides. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to see a little bit more, mm -hmm. but we'll address it and figure out if anything is coming from the ankles or is it a power issue or a balance issue. Okay? okay? Cool. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Let's go over your x rays now. And you're telling me you were told you had scoliosis. This is not scoliosis, number one. Mm -hmm. Scoliosis would be like this. Mm -hmm. We have a lateral curvature. There's a kink in that upper mm -hmm. back. That's what we need to figure out. Let's go over this. 24 bones in the spine, 23 mm -hmm. discs in between. I want you to think of this as a 24-story building. Mm -hmm. This is the foundation of the building, which is the sacrum and the pelvis. Mm -hmm. In order to have a stable building, we need to have a level base and foundation. Mm -hmm. yeah? This is looking at you from behind. This is right, this is left, mm -hmm. okay? This is your side profile. On the side, we were designed to have 60-degree reciprocating curves. Mm -hmm. So the first question is, do we have the curvature that we need on this x-ray? Okay, now follow my process a little bit. We need the curvature, why? That 60 degrees is our first line of defense against the forces of gravity. 60, 60, 60. Mm -hmm. That's the curve. Mm -hmm. Now, I do want to be clear about something before we start. I'm not in the business of straightening spines. Mm -hmm. That's not my intention. Mm -hmm. Hear me out carefully, though, mm -hmm. please. Mm -hmm. My business is stabilize the foundation to the building, number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, can we help reestablish these curves? Mm -hmm. If we have the right curves here, whatever is going on here will either take care of itself or will be the stability and that person's normal, okay? But once we get to this analysis, I'm going to show you something is going to change, including your height. Mm -hmm. So when you look in nature, the strongest geometrical curve in nature, 60 to 62 degrees. Nautilus eggshells, wave surfers mm -hmm. ride, the earth, spheres, circles, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, as the math guy back yeah. there. <laughs> Modeling, I'm giving you the model, sir. <laughs> now, I want us to do the posture assessment. Mm -hmm and it's gonna explain stuff in terms of what you're feeling in your upper back, okay? Mm -hmm. The way we do a posture assessment, a lot of places they do what's called a plumb line and they take a weighted string, they run it down the side. You guys know what I'm talking about. The ear should match the shoulder, the hip, the knee and the ankle. Mm -hmm. I was taught to do it through film, through x-ray. Mm -hmm. I We go at L5 or the lowest lumbar body, draw an X, run the laser level. Mm -hmm. And if we run the laser level, let's see what we find here. You can see I didn't mark it up there already, but I'm just showing you again, mm -hmm. right? You can see that instead of going through seven and it's here, mm -hmm. 
slightly forward to C7 and C2, yes? Mm -hmm. I marked it here and here. And where is it supposed to be? This line should bisect 7 and 2 with a curve. Uh -huh. So we should have this curve, this curve, this curve. Mm -hmm. the, I'm talking for optimal alignment. Mm -hmm. Optimal alignment. Mm -hmm. This goes through. Mm -hmm. This should be curving more so it goes mm -hmm. forward there. And this should be curving this way to hit that C2. Mm -hmm. It's not far from C2. Mm -hmm. Okay? But if we start to change this, this is going to start to change as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so why I'm mentioning this, two things. You carry your upper body behind your foundation. Mm -hmm. So what do you think those muscles are doing? Oh. They're like mm -hmm. this. Yeah. You floss them. You're a natural yeah. flosser. Okay. Now, jogging. Mm -hmm. Nine minute mile or faster is good. Anything less than nine minute mile, what are you doing? It's compression. Mm -hmm. What takes up the... The stress yeah. there yeah. and if we're behind the foundation what's the next thing that's going to take up the stress in here and I know it hurts a little bit in here if I start pushing mm -hmm. we'll check that does that make sense so mm -hmm. far yeah we're going to go over what's called the level foundation principle so first one to go off level is our potential and then the body compensates to bring things back to level mm -hmm. okay so let's start here this is our base First one to come off level is five. Okay. Four goes with it. Three goes with it. Two comes back to. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Five goes off slightly. Four goes with it. Three comes back to level. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next one to go off is L2. Mm -hmm. Follow this though. L2, L1 goes with it, 12 goes with it, mm. 11 goes with it. You Sounds see the, like. <laughs> that all of this tilting, uh -huh. Deco, watch this. Uh -huh. Look, look, uh -huh. forget this for a second. Uh -huh. If your body didn't compensate, uh -huh. where's your head going to be? You're going to be yeah. off on that side, uh -huh. especially in this area, uh -huh. okay? Uh -huh. So what is the body doing now? Compensate. Right. Why is it compensating? We have a reflex. It's called a writing reflex. Have you heard that term before? We are biped predators. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going into the evolutionary biology mm -hmm. now, right? Mm -hmm. So biped predators, eyes in the front, mm -hmm. it's in, innate with all biped mm -hmm. predators. Mm -hmm. The writing reflex states the body will do everything and anything to keep the head mm -hmm. straight, eyes level. Mm -hmm. That's why so you're that's like it. this. You've okay. seen people like this. Uh -huh. You see people I, I like this. I see pictures of myself. Like, okay. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the writing reflex. Uh -huh. And I'm explaining that to you. I'm trying to show you something. Mm -hmm. This is coming from L2. Mm -hmm. L2 powers the quad, the, ah. the knee, L2, L3 to the knee uh -huh. and the quadriceps, L2 to the side of the hip, mm -hmm. both sides. Mm -hmm. But in your case, L2 is doing what? It's causing the whole spine to curve to the mm -hmm. left side. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's find out where it's coming back now. Let's go back down here to the sacrum. Your whole spine is compensating from L2. Mm -hmm. If I find pressure up there on the meter and in the exam, I'll deal with it. It's not the fix. Mm -hmm. The fix for you is stabilize the foundation mm -hmm. and L2 is where everything is going off from. So going back to your question, of original question of being here, you wanted to know what's out and how to prevent things. Mm -hmm. So before getting into all that, I need us to understand that we need to get this balance. Mm -hmm. And the only thing I need you to do to balance besides figuring out your adjustment is your walking. Mm -hmm. 
that's it. Okay, so you're asking me about the, the analysis and the mm -hmm. numbers. Mm -hmm. Gonstead came up with the, this actual pelvic analysis. Mm -hmm. Before Dr. Gonstead in the 40s, 50s, they said that the pelvis does not move. It's a fixed structure. It was illegal to adjust the pelvis for mm -hmm. all chiros. Mm -hmm. And he diagrammed it. He studied a lot of cadavers. And through all the x-ray analysis that, that he was doing, he found this, this ratio. And what he found was for every five millimeters of misalignment of the pelvis, mm -hmm. up or down, in or out, mm -hmm. it, affects the, it affects the leg length inequality by two. Oh. So it's a five to two ratio or 0.4, okay. AS means anterior superior, PI is posterior inferior. EX means external, IN means internal. PI and EX, when you have that listing, you add the numbers. ASIN, you add the numbers. Mm -hmm. ASEX, PIIN, you take the absolute difference and see which is the major. So in her, your case, AS4, EX7, mm -hmm. EX is the, is the major. Mm -hmm. The EX is similar to a PI, mm -hmm. which is down. Mm -hmm. So the difference between that is three. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Three times 0.4 is mm -hmm. 1.2. Mm -hmm. So if I correct this, it's like I'm bringing this up 1.2, mm -hmm. which would be that I'm bringing this down 1.2. Mm -hmm. So the actual difference is 8.2, whereas the measured difference is 7. Mm -hmm. So we do, this tells us two things. The answer of, your, of the stability is not in your pelvis mm -hmm. first, it's your sacrum. Mm -hmm. Right? And the chapters confirms that if you have a rotated sacrum on the side where the EX, mm -hmm. yeah, AS, EX, mm -hmm. right? we're going to go with sacrum. Okay? okay? And the way I need to do your sacrum is I need to torque it mm -hmm. to raise this side. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Make a sense? Yes. You ready? Yeah. Let's figure it out. You can see what I'm talking about. She carries her upper body behind her foundation here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's run the meter on the spine. Relax there. Good. Starting at the base of the neck. If I get something in the upper cervical, I'll deal with it. Otherwise, I don't really see that's the focus. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I'm not getting anything in the neck up top. Good. Now, I suspect, yeah, we're getting a 15-point reading, 10-point reading. Check this out. As I do it several times, it's going to get less. Because that first temperature was what? It was heat from the muscle. And just so we're on the same page here, round your back forward a little bit. I get to tag you up now, okay? So With, okay. I'm just doing this so we can follow the contours of the spine. Right. All right. Now. <laughs> That's so crazy, L2. Nine, 10 points, L2. You said mama found me, daddy found me? My mom. Your mom. You okay there? It's just You're tickling, like tickling. Yeah? That's okay. Like, tickling is good. Like it's super fine. Tense cause I'm like, oh, Are you gonna... nervous right now? You're not nervous anymore. A little anymore. bit. It's about like, what? I don't, I don't know. Just about don't getting know adjusted? Huh? About getting adjusted? Yeah. Okay. Like. So, mm -hmm. L2. Well, I salute mom for like looking for something to figure out so we don't get issues down the road. Mm -hmm. Good for her. And there it is, S3S, 3S4. S3S4. S3, S4, L2. Okay, let's check back up here just to be safe. No 
know there's something hiding here. But we're not chasing the symptom either. Right? Right? There. It's so subtle. Right there. T56. T56, L2, S3. Those are the three majors that I'm finding on the spine. Next thing we need to do is check the movement in your pelvis. Scoot forward, please, to the edge. Feet together. Open and close your knees, please. Open and close. Feet are touching together. Mm -hmm. Okay, open wide and close. Slow it down just a little bit, please. Open wide, close. Open, close. Open, close. Right side only, open close so when she does the right pelvis left is fine not moving too much at the moment left side only you're moving okay i know we have this misalignment here mm -hmm. i know right now we're not starting there we will be starting down low do you feel this one yeah yeah scoot back for me please all the way back So as I said, let me rewind. We know we have a misalignment of the left pelvis, mm -hmm. but we also know that there's movement there. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna be the fix for us. And as I'm running my fingers down the spine, right there, it gets orange peely and swollen. Tender right Hi. there. <laughs> yes. And down please. This is your digestion, madam. Yeah. Relax there. One. Seven. I don't say. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Five or six? Uh, the this one? Yeah. How about below? Not as bad. That's fine. Six. Yeah. Yes? And then five is also pretty bad too. Yeah. If they're both bad, we go with the lower segment, okay? Yeah. Good. You can breathe, it's okay. Yeah. She's pretty red from the touch. That's high, that's acidic. You been drinking, you drink enough water? Um, I hope so, maybe not today. I haven't been You can see right about here, it starts to get orange peely. Tender there or there. This one. That one. Um, Relax there for a second. Yeah. Let's not think so much. Let's just go through the motion, okay? Yeah. Starting at L5, forward, extend, forward, and back. Forward and back. Extend, back. And back. Four. Three. That one right there. You do feel that? Yeah. L2. <laughs> what? L2, T6. Let's continue. Back towards me, please. All the way back. Good. Five. This one more tender? Uh, yeah. Or this one more tender? Uh, top one. This one yeah. right here. Mm -hmm. S2, S2, L2, T6. Those are our majors, madam. So here's my thought process. We'll do sacrum okay. to start. Sacrum T6. Okay. Sacrum T6, T6 we're doing, uh, is that something we're going to do a lot of? Probably not, okay? But there is pressure there. We did say there's some digestion issues as well. Mm -hmm. So let's get the power onto the stomach to make sure things are doing this, their job. After that, I'll rescope you and see if L2 is there. I'll work on it. If not, that's where we're going to start for today. Mm -hmm. And then we'll tune up the feet, shoulders, and arms. Sound good? Ciao. Are you happy mama told you to come? Yep. <laughs> really?
kind of nervous now. All right, let's but... wait. We're nervous about what? Adjustment? Yeah. About what? Ooh, it's just spooky, all this stuff that's been going on. Um, spooky because you didn't know it was going on? Yeah. Do you understand that this is not a scoliosis? Yeah, I get that. I, I need you to be clear about that. Yeah. It's you, the term is used very loosely, okay? Mm -hmm. Ah, it's a scoliosis, deal with it. I had a patient a few days ago, mm -hmm. was told scoliosis, went mm -hmm. to an orthopedic, young girl. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have scoliosis. Just deal with it. Nothing you can do. Go get a back brace. Yeah. Bottom leg straight. Top leg bend. Slide your whole body forward, please. Slowly, please. Well, you're okay. Walk <laughs> just from that. Just face down on the gray table, please. Let's get a bit more. Lightly hold down the ankles, please. Breath in. Out. Good. Sounds good. Breath out. Breath and out. Gotcha. What's the rest of that? Hi. on the right side. Hold it a little bit lighter, please. Mm. Home run. Gotcha. Wonderful. Fantastic. Let's stand up and walk that off, please. Come off slowly. Let's walk that off. As you're walking, tell me what's different. Doesn't matter good, bad, and if there's nothing, there's nothing. Um, Keep walking. I, I don't know if I'm just like imagining things now, but it feels a lot less wobbly when I walk. Yeah, it's, it, it's all voodoo. It's, it's, okay. Yeah. Then you do, you um, see that, right? It's less wobbly, correct. There's more stability. Close your eyes. Very interesting. Still there. Have a seat. Something hiding in your upper cervical. Let's rescope it. There it is. T6 is clear. I cleared your L2, by the way, for today. Mm -hmm. And sacrum is clear. Sit up straight, please. Let's re-motion this, come back slowly. Check this out. That's L5, L4. You remember what L2 felt like, right? Yeah. That's L3, mm -hmm. that's your L2. Oh. Different, right? Yeah. What's different? It does not hurt as much. And I didn't touch it. Huh. S1, S2, Bickle. No pain, right? No. Good. 
All right. Sit back here for me, please. Okay. Now I'll be grabbing a little bit of your hair. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> Seven, six, five, four, three, two, right there. I got a tiny bit on the right atlas mm -hmm. here. Tiny bit. Mm -hmm. Let me just set that for you. Raise your right hand, please. And this is not so much, it's a tiny little bit, just to get it going. There you go. Home run, man. Walk on your toes, please. Walk on your heels, please. Come back over here, have a seat. Round your back, touch your toes. Head down. Feels different when I do this now? Any pain in there? No, not a lot. Come up slowly. And let's check the atlas. She's all clear. Your back face. And I'm going to start on your ankles. I'm okay. going to be using my speeder board. I don't know if you've seen this or not yet. Mm -hmm. Sound is the board, not your ankle breaking, okay? Sounds, Sounds like this. All right. There you go. Aes talus, medial tilt, posterior fib. Drop third, metatarsal head. Checking the tibia. A little tender on the left side. Yeah. Raise this. Back side of the tibia, right there. It's not going to hurt. Sit. Stand and walk it off. No, what? Yeah, what? My like cat feels different. <laughs> What's different? It feels like longer and there's more of a like this shape to it. I don't know. It feels different. I don't know. You're if walking I'm smoother. Okay. But let's see what happens. I'll give you your homework and we'll figure out in a couple of days okay. when we're going to see you and uh, we'll go from there. Okay. okay. Squeeze hard. Elbow, posterior humerus, posterior radial head, posterior distal radius, Hi. Hi. Whoa. <laughs> posterior lunate, oh, sorry. and thumb. Squeeze, squeeze. One more time. Posterior ulna. Posterior radial head. There. Posterior distal. There you go. Ooh. Five times fast. Fast, 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 fast. Squeeze hard. Good. Squeeze. Squeeze hard. There you go. Squeeze, turn and face that way. Ears. Ah! Yeah, <laughs> that's the ear adjustment. Ah! Yeah, wakey, wakey. Okay. All right, jokes aside. Mm -hmm. You'll note any changes, anything that's different. It okay. doesn't matter good or bad. Mm -hmm. There's new pain, you tell me. Mm -hmm. Old pain, whatever. Oh, mm -hmm. this felt weird. I slept better, mm -hmm. I didn't. I walked better, my foot feels different, my mm -hmm. shoe feels anything. Anything, okay. Just so we can kind of see what happened. 
-huh. Okay? And ice my back, ice what? Ice the areas that I adjusted. You're gonna okay. ice sacrum, mm -hmm. T6, and up top on the atlas. Gotcha. Okay. okay, so ice, water, two to three liters. Okay. Two to three liters a day, lots and lots of walking, fifteen up to 15,000 steps, one hour. Okay. You want to do more? Fantastic. Okay. Okay? okay? Sleeping on your back, two pillows on your knees, one under your neck. If you're a side sleeper for you, you'll do better on your right side with a pillow between your knees. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, and then can I walk with like weights or something? Because I like to sweat, I like to feel. Right like... now, no. No, okay. Go climb a hill. Okay. Okay. Seriously, yeah. just don't add variables right now. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Welcome to the office. Thank you.